Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So <laughs> I have been having a bit more of a play because since using the magazine pages with the tea bags on my three in 30 challenge, um, my mind was then buzzing of all the other things that we could maybe do with the um, magazine pages and the tea bags. So I have prepared some of my tea bags again. If I just tear that open. And what I've done, hopefully you can see, this is some of my painted magazine page. So obviously it started out exactly like this. And I've just taken some of my favourite stamps and just stamped some bits on the page. And then I've stamped them obviously in different colours. So this is, uh, I think this was timber brown, this was olive green, this was azure and this was the cherry pink. They are all the stays on. Um, they're not all the stays on colours. They obviously do lots more colours than that. But these are all stays on inks anyway that I have used. So what I did. Oh, and then, sorry, just before I go on. I also stamped these images. Um, as you can see here, I've kind of mixed the stays on with the timber brown and the azure. Mixed the two together and thought that was rather nice. And then I've done lots of frames because I thought they would be awesome done like this. I also did some butterflies, which as you can see, I've already put the um, tea bag over them. So I haven't cut them out yet so I can finish them off, but I just thought I would, you know, share those things with you as well. So if I just pop these onto my lap for a minute, and I'm just going to lay the tea bag over here. And hopefully you can see that. Oops, hold on. Got something on there. Oh well. Um, hopefully you can see that already. It just looks awesome. Do you know, just how that is, I think. You know, it doesn't even need anything else. It just looks really nice just like that. So I'm just going to take my Mod Podge and just pop that tea bag over this stamped piece. Okay, and just pop that on like that, press it down. Now obviously you're going to get the wrinkles and things, but I mean that's going to make this look like, you know, more of an aged, aged piece rather than a painted magazine page with some stamped bits and bobs and an old tea bag stuck on it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I quite like that. So that's that one. Looks gorgeous, just exactly how that is, I think. Uh, got some more tea bags, so I'm just going to see what other piece that I might like to, to do. So that's the blue, obviously. This is the green. I mean, that's quite nice, isn't it? Got obviously this pink, which is really nice. Uh, hmm. Decisions, decisions. So what I might do, I might do the pink because that's obviously right next to it. So kind of makes sense to do, I suppose. So I just paste the Mod Podge over there. I mean, I know I've said this a few times now, but these magazine pages, when they're painted, they just have such a nice feel. And um, I mean, it is a little bit of a time consuming thing painting the magazine pages, but I really like how they turn out. I love the feel of them. And um, they, yeah, they've just got this really soft kind of feel. And, you know, it's nice to use something a bit different, I think. So I think they're quite, quite nice and quite different to use. So that's that. And then I might just do, excuse my arm, yeah. So one more tea bag. I'm having to be a bit stingy because I said before, but I mean, I don't generally drink herbal teas and that's what these are, herbal tea bags. Um, you know, I drink just the cheapy one cup tea, which doesn't come in these nice square sort of tea bags. It, you know, what I drink is just this cheapy one cup tea, which obviously just comes in like a round tea bag. So that's why I'm having to be a bit stingy with the tea bags. 
because obviously, you know, I've just now got the one one cup tea, the round ones, which then might not be so useful. So, okay. So I'll just paste all over that. I'm just going to stand up and check that I'm in frame in a minute because I um, was doing a video earlier on and then my my camera went off for some reason and I was filming for about seven minutes talking away to myself not knowing that the camera was no longer on I mean that's why I'm often repeating myself I suppose because I you know by the end I don't really know what I've said on camera and what I haven't really so right okay 550 so touch wood that means it's still filming Okay, I'm going to move this out the way to dry because it's quite saturated now. And while that's drying, I'm just going to do a couple of the frames. So again, let me just bring in another, another tea bag. So down to my last two now. Just tear it again. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that one there. Well, I'm going to do this lady. Well, actually, I'll do this one. Try and work in some sort of logical, logical order. So I hope that this is in frame. Obviously, I can't see my camera, so um, it's always a bit difficult to tell. So just paste that down. Press my tea bag on. I love using the tea bags. I wish I'd done it sooner now. I always thought it looked a bit complicated. Well, not complicated, but a bit not my type of thing because they looked very delicate to use. And I thought, oh gosh, that's just going to be, you know, me tearing the tea bags. But actually, they're um, pretty usable. Right. What I should do is probably turn this round now and use this one because that's like the best one to cut off you know the most sensible one to cut off so just paste that one down like that okay okay so again I'm just going to pop them to one side now to leave them to dry now what I should have done was like I did in my 3 in 30 video and I should have then popped them onto my hot glue gun to dry. So <laughs> I might do that now. So I'm just going to cut this down here. In fact, I'll just cut along there. Cut that piece there. I'll just leave them to dry, sort of pressed against the hot glue gun. Just so, I mean, I'm just doing this so I'm not having to use my heat gun making a load of noise for you guys and again I'm just going to pop this near the hot glue gun as well because hopefully then they'll all be dry in a minute so while they're drying oops, we can just have a play around with these little butterflies now so hold on just balancing them now on the hot glue okay Right, so as you can see, I used the green and the blue um, stays on. Let me just get rid of my Mod Podge so I've got a bit more room. I used the green and the blue Mod Podge kind of mixed together. And, um, you know, they make quite a nice effect, don't they, like that? So I'm just going to take my Distress Ink. Ooh, that was very inky, wasn't it? A little bit gentler, or more, more gentle on the others. But they look really good, don't they? Because they've got like a um, sort of different texture to them. They're more like the decoupage napkins now, which is nice to use, you know, fun to, to use something different. And that one. Okay. 
so if I just take, for instance, the top one and just cut around it. Like that. And I know that I've said this before. I mean, I just cut the... Um, I can't remember what those things are called ever on the butterflies. Anyway, they're like antenna things. I just cut them off. Um, <laughs> you know, because obviously they're going to be mega fiddly to cut around. And invariably I'm going to then break them off anyway because, you know, that's the type of person that I am. I'm very clumsy. And the same with this little tail on this particular butterfly. It's got that sort of tail bit. I'm just going to cut that off because, you know, I'm going to break that off. If I leave that hanging it will get pulled off anyway. So I might as well, you know, save myself the trauma of cutting around it and just cut it off. So there we go. How cute is that butterfly? It looks really sweet, doesn't it? And then, you know, you could decorate that up further by popping some um, glossy accents or something like that on. I don't know what kind of um, effect that would have obviously on this so let's give it a try let's bring that in I mean this very much you know winging it here I don't know what what this will be like but let's give it a try so just go round the whole thing like that. Okay, so I need to now just pop that somewhere out the way to leave it to dry. So I'm just going to put it right out the way to the side because otherwise I'm going to definitely have an accident with that. So that's that one. I'm just going to see how my pieces are doing that are balanced on the hot glue whether they're drying quite well or not. Not bad, they just need a few more minutes. So another kind of um, thing that we could do with the butterfly is we could pop some gold on here. So I've got this gold paint. I'm very messy crafting today. Just using my fingers on everything. Now I'm just going to try this bit because what I thought I would do probably is tear around this and then add some gold just around the edge. So I just wanted to check how that's going to look. So just get rid of that. And then I'm just going to tear around. Not, not fussy tearing around the butterfly shape, if you see what I mean, but just more tearing it. I mean, obviously not in a circle because I haven't got enough... Um, you know, leeway around the edge of the napkin, but not napkin, <laughs> tea bag. Um, but just, just so as you've got a bit of shape going on there. And then I'm just going to take my, actually, before I take my gold, so sorry, very messy, very messy today. What I'm going to do, I think, is take my Timber Brown stays on, and then I'm going to take my little scripty stamp, which I now can't see. Oh, here it is. Right, so just going to stamp a little bit of script in the background, like that. I'm going to go around the edge with a bit of the gold so like that oops just pick a bit more up on my finger like that I mean I think that looks really nice so then you could just use that on your projects and I'm just going to stand up because I'm not sure how well you can really see that to be honest through the camera so I'm just going to stand up and show you hopefully you can kind of see a little bit I still don't know if the camera's picking up the gold to be perfectly honest but you know looks really pretty really pretty 
So I'm just going to pop that out of the way now again to sort of dry. Right, let's see if our pieces are dried. Well, they're not perfect, but they're, they're drying. So if I just cut down this one with the brown, I'm going to pop this one back onto the glue gun to continue to dry. <sighs> and then what I had done was pulled in, I love using my frames and things. So this is this gorgeous stamp here in this frame. And I just thought, wow, doesn't that look lovely just on there like that? You know, to me, that doesn't even need really anything else. Um, it just looks, <laughs> oh, just love it, just how that looks. But of course, you know, you could tidy this up. So we could cut this down a bit here. Now I've got the overhang of the tea bag here. Oops, just tear that piece off. I just wondered whether I could kind of tear it rather than cut it. So it's got a bit of a sort of raggedy edge on one side, like that, okay. And then I'm just going to ink that up a little bit. So let me move the paint out of the way. Otherwise I've got kind of billions of things going on all over the desk, so going to ink this up a little bit. Like that. I could go on there. Now, which side do I prefer it? I think there. Um, do we want some doily or anything on there? Let's just have a look. Oh, how lovely does that look? Just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Like, you know, hardly anything um, to that page because all of the work and effort has obviously gone into creating the background, which, excuse me a moment, which has obviously, you know, been the magazine page with the stamped image and the um, tea bag over it. But it just creates the most let me just get rid of that glue now off of my fingers. I mean, again, I don't know why I did that. I should have just got a cloth and, you know, or some tissue and cleaned the top. Because now I can't get that off my finger. Hold on. Right. Yeah, I mean, that just looks so pretty, doesn't it? I just love how that looks just wondered mm, that's quite nice too no I'm not going to do that so the stamped image I mean obviously you can see it's been stamped onto this buff colored card so I mean to be honest it doesn't really need inking up and it's questionable how much the ink really shows on the buff colored card anyway but just to keep it really in the theme of the um, you know, grungy effect, I will ink it. Now I've just glued that down on those two sides so as it would be a little tuck spot. So I'm just pressing that down like that. Oh, I just love that piece. It just looks lovely. Now you can probably see, I mean, I've not cut that straight or anything, but weirdly, I'm going to leave it because I feel like actually it almost would look sort of slightly strange if it were completely straight at the side. So I'm actually going to leave that exactly as it is. Got a little bit of lace here. I mean, this was just literally hanging around on my desk. So I'm just going to pop that down across the top. Like that. Oops. Okay. And then I'm just going to, you know, add a bit more glue so it's glued down really nicely. Oh, it's glued down, not my, not my finger, hopefully. Although, anything can happen. Who knows? <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. Let me check that I'm filming. I'm having to keep checking this because, as I say, I 
did a video um, and then it stopped filming and it's so frustrating. Right, a bit of bling because I can't resist. Loving the black with this because obviously it just picks up the, um, you know, the hot air balloon, which is obviously stamped in black. So, oops. Pop that there. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? I just love that. It looks so nice. I mean, as I say, it helps because these are sort of some of my favourite stamps, but it just looks so grungy and vintage and you know these magazine pages they really feel very tactile and really really nice so love how that looks so I'm just going to pop that to one side and I'm just going to see if our other pieces are dry so obviously I've got these now this one I now need to put onto the hot glue gun for a bit because obviously this larger one has been hogging the space you know the glue gun's only kind of like six inches long so wasn't much space left by the time this one was balanced on there so this one I haven't decided what I'm going to put on here I'm going to just cut that down and just a bit in here like that and I'll just take that piece off the bottom just because that was where the tea bag wasn't right I'm going to rough this one up slightly because obviously I haven't got that rough edge on this and I don't want it to look like I've just taken the scissors and cut it down, even though I have. So I'm just going to ink this a little bit, like that. Okay. Now, wondering what to put on this. So I'm just having a bit of a look around my desk, seeing what I've got laying about that I can actually see. And obviously I've got all sorts of stuff laying about, but whether or not I can actually see it is a whole nother question, really. A whole nother, nother issue. I've got some birds. Ooh, that one's really nice, actually. Right, let's have a look. I don't know. You know, this might look nice. It might look rubbish. Let's just have a look. I mean... You know, I'm just grabbing, grabbing what's here. So if I take that, and I wonder if you can just layer that up a little bit. So I'm just going to cut that down slightly, like that. Oh, what is going on with my cutting today? It's hideously crooked. Right, oh well. Never mind. Never mind. So I'm going to, again, just go around the edges of this. And, you know, I don't mind that that's tearing. That's fine. Just going to pop it onto here. So let's just glue that down. Isn't it funny? I was going to go with that colour one. But weirdly, I think that black and white one looks a lot nicer. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have gone over this with the with the tea bag. I wonder whether I can still do that. Let's have a look. I've got this little scrap here, which is just the right size, so it's kind of like as if it was meant to be, but actually now I've put it there, I'm not sure, because that image is not that bright, and it might not actually show through very well. well I might not be able to do that after all. Oh well. Right, I'm going to tear around this one. So I hope everyone's having a good day. I um, hope you're doing some crafting, having a bit of fun. Right, I'm going to just ink this up now. Like that. 
Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? So I hope you can see that. It's it's quite a sort of pale, subtle image. So hopefully that's visible to you guys. Now I'm just going to reach into my cupboard and grab out my labels drawer. I don't know whether I've shown my organisational things at this point or not, but I'm really trying to get on top of my mess, which, oh, that's just like a a bigger chore than you can ever imagine, but but I am getting there slowly, so uh, or I'm at least at least making a bit of a start. So got that one, and um, so these are some of Rachel's labels. That's Rachel from Roxy Creations. There are some of her labels, and um, weirdly, I prefer the smaller one because. Um, the big one sort of swamps the image, which, you know, that's not really very good, is it? Because you want the image bigger than the label, obviously. So I'm going to pop that like that, I think. And then just having a look around, seeing what else I've got laying about. I can have this doily piece maybe here or something. Oops. nice isn't it just wondering I feel like I need some lace or something somewhere just wondering what I've got here you know just laying around so just bear with me for a moment and you could have that piece tucked up there that's quite pretty I mean this is very delicate for me um, I don't very often do such a sort of delicate looking piece. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Right. Yeah, this is very unusual kind of uh, looking for me. I, I don't do delicate that often. Not because I don't like it. Um, it obviously just doesn't really come that naturally to me because it just never seems to be, you know, something that I that I just do. Right, I'm just going to pop this doily down. Actually, I'm going to have the doily here, like that, I think. And then do I want the label? I could even have the label up there, or there. Or do we want it down there? some pearls or something I mean I just quite like those you know they're not even straight they're like kind of crooked but I think there's something quite nice about that I don't know oh, is that a hole in my paper I don't know what that is it could even be I don't know what that is so perhaps we'll have that there okay so I'm going to pop the pearly trim down really nice and then I had pulled this piece of lace in again it was just floating about on my desk and thought oh perhaps that might be quite nice let me just put my labels down I'm just going to stand up and see how it looks because sometimes it does look quite different when you look down on a piece I find so let's move that out the way so that would be it at the bottom could have it at the top because I did ink the top rather a lot, maybe a bit too much. Um, but I think I do prefer it at the bottom. Okay, so let's just pop it on the bottom there. Okay. Pop that there. Like that. And obviously, as you can see, I mean, that's overhanging, but I like that. So do we want the label down here? 
again I'm just going to look how it looks looking down or up here I think probably down there which again was very strange because actually it looked different when I was sat down to how it looked when I looked down you know look down from high up above so it does help to sometimes just stand up and kind of check out how things are looking there we go I'll just trim that down there oh aren't they pretty I love that one I mean that's such a different style for me I yeah really kind of don't very often do such you know subtle colorless things but I really love that it's really pretty this is kind of much more my typical kind of style, I think, but I love how that looks. Right, okay, so the final piece that we could do, if I just pop these out of the way. So I'm going to just tear this one down so, so I don't have a really neat edge along the top. And I'm just going to tear it down here at the bottom as well. like that okay and then I'm just going to ink this up a little bit and just going to really try and ink this just more around the edge rather than over the whole thing I mean this actually looks like it has been inked because the tea bag was quite um, discolored on there so it's already got quite an ink inked up effect now I just wondered whether I could just have the butterfly on there um, you know on its own I'm not going to do that I mean that butterfly to me I think would just look lovely on a page on its own so some of the sort of more plainer pages in the journal it would just look a lovely embellishment just on its own um, so I'm going to just leave that and save that to do that sort of thing with uh, I've got a quote here so I'll just tear this down and see you know, I mean, obviously I haven't planned these pieces or anything, so I'm just grabbing, grabbing stuff that's laying around and just pulling things in randomly. But definitely, you know, using the magazine pages to make some really pretty background pages. Oh, they're just lovely. You know, they really look nice, I think anyway. So hopefully you guys agree. So that's that piece and um, just bringing my frames and things back in. I know that I've got this piece here, which let me just ink this up. I mean, this is just a leftover piece from my very vintage journal that I did. Um, but it obviously, I thought of it because of the blue in the flowers. You know, they're just, the right colour blue for this, aren't they? So maybe we'll just use that there. We could just have that kind of coming out there. What do you think? Just going to again stand up and see how that looks. Or we could have that down there. Yeah, I quite like that, I think. So, oops. <laughs> Would help if I took the pin out of the glue, wouldn't it? before trying to actually use it. So there we go. Okay. Oops, okay. Put that one down. Now I just wonder whether we want to put the um, little quote on any lace or anything. So again, let me see what lace I happen to have laying around on the desk. No, I can't actually see any. Ah, oh, here we go. I knew I had some, but it was just a case of where is it buried? I mean, everything's buried somewhere on my desk, so. Just going to cut this like that. Okay. Oh, how pretty does that look? I mean, that's just the most simple thing but looks really, really pretty. So just glue that down, glue it down onto the lace and then I can um, position the lace where we, whoops, where we want it. So there we go. 
Okay, and then a bit more glue. So pretty, isn't it? Really love how that looks. Just gorgeous. Do we want some bling on this? I mean, I can't resist bling, as you know. So, of course, to me, everything looks better with a little bit of, of bling somewhere. So, just let me cut a little bit of lace. I mean, this might look rubbish, who knows? But, you know, you don't know if you don't try, do you? So, it's always worth, worth a bit of a try. I mean, strangely, that changes the look of that piece quite significantly, I think. Um, let me, again, stand up and have a look down on it because it does look quite different. So that's it with the lace. And that's it without the lace. Oh, always with, always with, I think. So, uh, yeah, can't help myself. Let's just pop that down there. Like that, and then I'm just going to pop that piece, piece of bling on. Like that. Okay. Oh, gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Right, so let me pop the glue out the way. I'm really trying to, uh, you know, be a tidy crafter. I mean, that's just a joke if you could see the, the tip that still is my desk. But, you know, start as I mean to go on. So, uh... <laughs> right, let me get rid of this dirty piece of paper now that I have been working against. So that so you've at least got something kind of cleaner to look at. So I'm going to just bring in, again, some of that magazine page just to lay the pieces out on so you can kind of see what we've done. So obviously these are the pieces that we've done with the magazine page don't they just look gorgeous and obviously we also did this butterfly which is still drying I'm afraid from the glossy accents so but just to give you an idea that's how that's kind of looking I mean as I say it is still kind of wet but um that's how that's looking and actually I've just thought we didn't really get around to doing any of these did we oh let me just um oh they're still wet I haven't done the trick with the hot glue gun with these so they're still quite soggy Oh, well. Well, we'll have to probably um, leave this, but <laughs> that's obviously what the frame will look like. And obviously I will cut the frame out. I won't just leave it, um, you know, scraggedy and raggedy around the edges. But yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely it's worth having a play around with your magazine pages. Um, you know, as I say, it's a bit of a faff kind of painting them, but... I think it's really quite a nice way to um, alter some of your your pieces and obviously the paper then is kind of free because they're just old magazines that you know I'm sure most people have some sort of magazines laying around somewhere um, even if it's you know an old catalogue or something like that so um, yeah I hope that you like the pieces and uh, think that they turned out really pretty and I hope that you'll try some for yourself so thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you guys another time thanks then Bye.